The grand final teams have been decided. It will be the Sydney Swans and the Brisbane Lions going head-to-head -head at the MCG this Saturday. Sydney sent Port Adelaide packing back to Adelaide after winning by 36 points, whereas Brisbane came to Melbourne to beat Geelong by 10 points. And if we have a look at my tips from last week, different contrasts to the semi-final tips, I actually got both the tips right. Just a bit off with the points with Sydney, I did pick them by 17 points, whereas Brisbane, I was only three points off, so I'm very happy that I got those tips right. Potentially, you could listen to me for this tipping video. Now here is my tip for the grand final, and I'll add some other predictions too in this video, so stay tuned. Sydney will go in as slight favourites, but you could see either of these teams holding the Premiership Cup at the end of the game. They last played each other in round 19 at the Gabba, which was an absolute thriller, with the Lions winning by two points. And if we get anything similar to that in the grand final, we're all going to be in for a treat. There are plenty of match winners in every team. Sydney, you've got obviously the big three in Isaac Heaney, Chad Warner and Errol Goulden. You know, you've got Tom Papley up forward, who can easily kick a few goals. Even some of their key forwards were very good against Port Adelaide with Joel Marty and Logan McDonald. Luke Parker could potentially kick a couple, playing as that small forward this year. And you've got some good rebounding defenders in Nick Blakey and Jake Lloyd, who's been playing that halfback and wing role as well. And don't rule out Brody Grunding having a big game. Now that Oscar McInerney has been ruled out for the grand final and Darcy Fort will be the Ruckman. Whereas the Lions, you've got Lockie Neal and Josh Dunkley, Hugh McCluggage in that midfield that have been very consistent all year. Their forward line can be very dangerous. We've seen Joe Danaher in finals. He's been very good. Eric Hickwood did some good things last week against Geelong. Players like Cam Rayner, who was absolutely outstanding in the second half against Geelong. And Zach Bailey. They can both be coming up and kick a couple of goals. They could be absolutely crucial. And Charlie Cameron, we haven't seen the best of him this year, but it is a grand final. You just don't know. He could have a big game. And obviously the defense is strong with Harris Andrews, who's their, one of their best intercepting players. And Dane Zorko, one of their best distributors in the team. They could be vital for this game. Just have a feeling this is going to be a close contest. But for my tip, I'm going to tip the Sydney Swans. I think they will win it. I'm going to pick them by eight points. But as I said, this could go either way. And definitely looking forward to this contest. I did say I'm going to do other predictions, so here are my other predictions for the grand final. First, we'll go with the Nordsmith. So this is awarded to the best player on ground on grand final day. My tip is going to be Chad Warner. I just have that feeling that this is a game that he could easily explode. Now, players like Heaney and Goulden and Papley could have big games, but I feel like Warner's the one who's going to win this game, I think, for him. I know a couple years ago when they played Geelong in the grand final, he was their best player, and I feel like he can do that again. He's been there two years ago, and as I said, he was Sydney's best player in a game where they got absolutely smashed by Geelong. So I think he'll win the Norm Smith. Now I'm going to do two other predictions. The most goals and the most disposals. We'll start with the most goals. Now I have the feeling that it's not going to be a high scoring in terms of like multiple goals. I think Tom Puppley will kick the most. He'll kick three goals at one end for Sydney. And I think Joe Danaher on the other hand will kick three as well. So I think two of them will kick three goals, one from each team. And for the most disposals, I'm actually going to pick a Brisbane player. I think Lockie Neal is going to hit 30 plus possessions, so he'll get the most. I think Chad Warner, as I said, will win the North Smith. He'll probably be at the high 20s, but he'll have more impact. So those are my predictions. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content. It would be greatly appreciated. Let us know of your predictions. Let us know who you think is going to win and how many points. And let us know of your predictions of the Norm Smith, the most disposals, and the most goals too. There will be more content coming on this channel, so stay tuned for that. But until then, bye for now.